Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It is time to watch something rated JG with me, John G. Let's hey, let's let's have a little bit of fun today. Actually, these are the best news bloopers of uh, April 2019. Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Big Red, no. <laughs> Let's take a look at birthdays and anniversaries in the meantime. Spill all the coffee. Birthday to E. Norma Stitz of Quitman. Happy oh, birthday, man, you got trolled. E. Norma, hope you have a wonderful day. E. Norma well, Stitz. Hey, uh, are you kidding me? Best picture ever. That was the best picture I think I've ever seen. That face. That's uh, a crying face, right? You're going to be doing that after the I show. I think I was laughing in that picture. Uh, part of the reason coaches and athletic directors make millions players get scholarships worth in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars and the ability to cash in on their fame later wrong screen good work blake good 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 work blake well, it looks like it's going to be warm today i kind of shocked to see yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> nobody said anything right. but it's going to be warm today right. warm tomorrow and then severe weather could be yeah. coming in today was a great day outside five news reporter veronica ortega joins us live in fort smith now with Oh, she ain't ready. She ain't ready. She's like, what, I'm on? That's because Jared Ricketts, who's been in the business <laughs> for about six weeks, was let go over the weekend. That's right, Carmen. They say they're still behind on the bridge going over the North Saskatchewan. We got two can of Sam in the building. They do say now that uh, they are not trending toward a December 2020 completion date for the whole Valley Line. What is she doing? They won't say when they now say they'll be complete, only that they'll be a few months late. Oh, that kid just ate dirt. Why is she laughing at him now? That's savage. She's like, anyway, I gotta finish. She's dying. This fool just got embarrassed on national TV. And she laughed. Well, look, if you have any kids. High five. Laundry piling up, and today is the perfect day to tackle it. It's National Laundry Day. That was the most awkward high five we've ever done. I know. It was like with my left True. hand. True. Right, the better. trick is to look at the elbows, yeah, and you'll never miss. Like no Asian. It was just like, it was just like hand. <laughs> so, JB, puck drop tonight is at 8.30, as the Predators look to take a 2-1. Oh, Sears. man. And clearly, yeah. Stars fans want to give them up. a rude awakening. Let's talk to the Predators, man, but go Stars. <laughs> oh, man. man. Thank you, Steve. Be they got one with the one light on and then the three lights. <laughs> this guy, okay. John Burton, dying. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley, live from Hillbilly Day. What up, Steve? Downtown Pikeville. And literally, 20 seconds ago. Monsoon. Right now, 20 seconds ago. Oh, he done. Came a downpour, and uh, we'll do the best we can here. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Marion Fletcher. Yeah. She has more on They the got YouTube. destroyed. Welcome back, friends. The time is now 6.31 on the clock, and good morning. Happy Tuesday to all. We hope you had a wonderful weekend, and if you're just now tuning in. Oh. Happy Tuesday. See, that's what happens on a Monday. Oh. I'm sorry, <laughs> Monday. I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it. No, down. I'm glad you. No, I'm glad you told me. Correct me. Awkward you now. When you make mistakes, you I apologize. I apologize. Happy it's Monday. Fine. Happy Monday to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Cool. You need to call me out. <laughs> See, that's a, just a classic Monday move right there. Okay, I'm, I'm still not. You're gonna do the weather. <laughs> Abracadabra, bring our defensive back. A. Backa. Abracadabra, bring back, our. Bring it back. Backa. <laughs> <laughs> He fell. <laughs> Two games left in the season. They'll need every win to stay there. I'm shaking, sure. shaking my head. What up, Roberto? Oh, he creeping. He creeping. Diola, Diola. 
<laughs> oh, heck no. The Iron Pigs. The dog in Thailand is certainly giving new meaning to the phrase doggy stop, doggy paddle, excuse me. <laughs> 35 miles off the shore of Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> the face that the other girl <laughs> made was no so good. She the said. The workers first spotted the dog last Friday swimming towards the platform. The crew was able to get a rope around said, his neck and pull him up. Stop. They believe he fell off a fishing trawler. He's now in good shape and on dry oh, land man. with an animal protection group. One I'm sure I'll be working with very soon. More news for you <laughs> when we come back. <laughs> Well, good morning, everyone. On this Friday, I'm Victoria K. Fett. And I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. The weekend is here. It's a little dreary. Get hyped. But it's okay. It's still going to be nice. We're going to have a nice Monday, too. So, What up, kitty? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wrong screen. <laughs> day of 2019 so far and today we cool off a bit right erica that is correct 93 93 degrees officially tied the record at the airport we were just shy of that at camp Mabry, but it was the hottest day we've seen That's so hot. far this year <coughs> oh excuse me Ooh. <laughs> She caught a fly flew in her mouth or something. That's gonna cool us down. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. All right, 57 degrees. She caught a whiff of something. 66. I think you guys should be excited too because the friend's pushing through right now and it's not only bringing a cool down. Annabeth, I know you're excited too. Come on. I'm so Come on, excited. help me out here. But I was a little worried over there for just a sec. I thought I had to render A. <laughs> I was worried too. Thursday. I have a guest. Oh, we got Loco in the building. Loco is here to help me do the weather. Are you excited, Loco? Thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> oh, heck no. Right, What's he doing? We're ready for baseball season, and this morning, Loco, as you can see, if we move over here a little bit, we have some flurries in the north, but in our <laughs> it's looking good and curvy. <laughs> the shimmy. It's going to stay that way. And here's a live look into Altoona. Beautiful. You can you sunbathing. Oh, love the weather. Loco is loving the weather. And here's a look at temperatures. Loco, can you point out some temperatures for me? 41 in Huntington. Next temperature, 41 in Bedford. 37 in Johnstown. 36 in Clearfield. And 37 degrees in Emporium. So it is chilly this morning. we got to wear our jackets, right? <laughs> and we look at the <laughs> coming from the east. So we're going to continue to push those winds push east throughout the entire morning hours. And then later... We'll start to see that switching to the south. So today, we got to move to the other side. All right. Today, at PNG Field, and throughout the entire day, 58 degrees, a mix of clouds and sun. You could not ask for better baseball weather. And as we head into the curve cast for the first pitch, that's going to happen at 6 p.m., right, Loco? Loco getting crazy. 6 p.m., people need to be there by 5. 55 degrees for the first pitch, times of clouds and sun. Again, you may just need a hoodie later at the baseball game. It's going to be perfect baseball weather. But tomorrow, unfortunately, Loco, we may have to worry about some rain. So let's take a look at the future track. So we are going to have she got him running today, back and not forth. bad at all. And we're going to continue to see dry conditions, seasonable for April, which is fantastic. But then, Loco, here comes that rain for Friday. Oh, no. So we have to watch out. It could be some scattered showers in the afternoon. Could hear a few rumbles of thunder. So we need to pay attention. So, again, this is Friday afternoon. We <laughs> start to see those showers. I'm sorry, Loco. I tried my best. At least it's dry for the home opener, right? <laughs> and if we continue, we'll continue to see those showers moving through. And then by Saturday, it's looking dry. So that'll be great. So for tonight, got to switch back to the other side. You're doing a great job. We're getting you ready for local, tonight. You know? Local, like, I'm tired of running back and forth. Degrees variable cloudiness throughout the overnight hours and then as we head into the day tomorrow high of 66 windy with those afternoon showers we're gonna have to deal with some wind but check out that temperature 66 fingers crossed we gotta cross our fingers 
that we won't have rain for the game tomorrow night. And then here is our seven day forecast. You ready? I think you're going to see this guy on this camera that you know. Oh man, time to go on. back. He <laughs> said, oh, I got to go back again. Today, by Friday, 66, 70 for Saturday. Looking great Saturday. Mix of clouds and sun. And then we have some rain on Sunday, 58, 54 on Monday, and then 54 <laughs> Hide the on belly. Tuesday and Wednesday. And we can come back here on screen. Loco, great job today. Thank you for helping me do the weather. And make sure, <laughs> make sure to head out to the curve game tonight. It's going to be a great evening. <laughs>have it uh just a fun one today uh news bloopers something i've always watched uh all the time so it's it's just funny to see some of the things that go on in the news and that do happen and that aren't supposed to happen so let me know what you guys thought about that news bloopers uh did you guys have fun checking it out with me if so post in the comments below and hey besides blooper videos i do all kinds of reactions to movies video games tv shows all the stuff that I enjoy, I want to watch it with you guys. So you guys enjoy it too, all right? So hit that sub, hit that bell, show some love, and we'll see you guys around, all right? Have a good one.